Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on how to download, install, and configure your iShare widget settings. Before we get started, let me share some amazing facts about the iShare Social Widget by Kunjo. This plugin is supported on Kunjo servers, which means it will not take up any bandwidth on your platform. This also means any updates, changes, and additions to the plugin will automatically update themselves. There is no need for any upgrades. This is an automatic service with no action needed. All of us know how fast technology changes. Kunjo is constantly innovating and will be adding the latest and greatest add-ons, options, and additional abilities for you to customize your widget. Kunjo wants you to be the first to have these features, and this no action upgrade feature keeps you up to speed and current automatically. iShare is the world's best free social share widget. Let's get started so you can begin to personalize your widget today. All you need to do is simply visit share.kunjo.com to download the widget. If you have previously downloaded version 1 of the widget, please remove this widget prior to downloading version 2. For this tutorial, we will be using the WordPress version. The first step, activate your plugin. Download the plugin archive and upload it to your WordPress admin plugins. It's that easy. After you register once on the general settings page, you won't ever have to do it again. Your iShare ID will be created. If you want to change your widget settings, you head to the widget listings in WordPress and make your changes from there. I'll explain more about widget settings in the next tutorial. For the purpose of this tutorial, let me show you how simple it is to generate your iShare ID by registering. Select Click Here. Enter your information on the form. And within seconds, you will receive an email with your new iShare ID. Make sure to copy your iShare ID from the email because you'll be pasting it into your general settings area. Your iShare ID is global and you can use it across all of your platforms. This eliminates the hassle of having to create multiple accounts and it allows you to monitor and analyze the social media traffic to and from all of your platforms all in one place. Before reviewing the final step in general settings, I have some important tips to share with you. Now let me show you how to maximize the benefits of your widget by setting the analytics status area to on. By default, the analytics status is set to off. Once you switch the status setting to on simply by clicking on the button, you'll never have to do it again. It's simple. If you don't set this status to on, it would be like using your smartphone only to make phone calls. The same principle applies here. The key to success is to stay connected to your user in every way possible. Once the status is set to on, new users need to create a social analytics account. New users should click on the checkbox. Clicking on the checkbox and registering is a one-time occurrence. After it's been completed, you do not have to do it again. Once you're registered, your social analytics account is activated. Again, this is a reminder that if you're creating an account for the first time, check the box and register with your email and password. And don't worry, iShare does not share or sell any personal information and you will not receive hundreds of unwanted emails. Once you are done registering for a social analytics account, or if your account is already active, this enables you to capture the key analytics on all of your platforms for free. It does this by connecting to your personal iShare ID. These analytics are key to measuring the success of what you do. Next, you will select the preferred language. If you can't find your language from the drop-down list, simply send Kunjo an email and they will provide a translation for you. Changing the language settings impacts all text displayed on the toolbar and within the tooltips. You'll see examples of this later on in another tutorial. The final step in general settings is to select your industry category from the drop-down list. Selecting your industry will also maximize your analytic benefits. 
Be sure to select the industry category that best represents your niche or market, and I will explain more about the benefits in the next analytics tutorial. Thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial.